Yes, lads, welcome back to another video on the channel. I've already done this, um, and yeah, my mic, when I went over to my PC, my mic wasn't set up properly, and it was muted, so I've got to do this again. But we're going to be talking about the new promo that's coming out. Now, like me, I think everyone has saved their packs. I didn't save my rival packs, which um, I should have. I just jumped in, but I've just saved other packs that I've got from marquee matchups, a few objectives, things like that. I think I have a 100k pack, which... Uh, yeah, and I have a 55k pack. Um, I have two 100k packs, which is cool. I didn't know I had that. So yeah, I think the market is going to go a little bit crazy tonight with this new promo. The cards are looking pretty good. Uh, we have a Halland. We have things like that. You can actually go and search for them um, as well. So if we come over and it, if you just go on concepts and you can type them in, uh, we're going to see like a Halland, for instance, right? Again, it's probably going to be... A very expensive card, uh, I can imagine. And if we go and have a look at Halland, yeah, he's he's probably gonna go extinct at some point. Maybe not extinct, but he's gonna he's gonna go up an absolute ton. Just because the hype, and I do think this is gonna be with Saka as well. I have two, I've packed one and I bought one for 30k. In the video I did, um I did explain that Saka he'll probably go down to about 29, maybe 28k in the night which he did, and he might bounce up back to about 34, 35. The thing is, I think he might get over-invested in, and you're going to know if he gets over-invested in by the price he goes before it comes out. So if we go and have a look at his price, don't forget, there is a few, there's a few reasons why these players will go up. There hasn't been too much supply, and packs aren't being opened as of now. Um, I think he's about 34, isn't he? He is photos. He's not actually gone up a ton. He's gone up a couple of K, which quite honestly isn't nothing. And I think his um, Arsenal have got a pretty good group as well. So I do think, because I believe they're live cards, right? So I, I do think Saka is going to go up. He'd be out of packs for a week. Um, and I think people that are, are going to want to play with Saka, right? People have only just got the game. They are they're going to want to use Saka. They haven't got the coins to buy him as of now. I do think him out of packs, maybe you could see 37, 38, or you could see a drop off on this card uh, for the first initial day, maybe a couple of hours, 30k, 29, and then people are just going to want to buy this card, right? They're going to want to use him because they can't use this Champions League card, and I do think um, cards like that will go up. If we go and have a look over onto the mic over here. Uh, make sure the mic's actually working. It is. If we go over to here and have a look, so by rating you can. It's actually on footbin every player you can look at. So so you've got Saka's one there. Haaland's going to be crazy expensive. So I want Bruno's another one. Again, I think when we see a card like this from Bruno, I know it's easy United. And United are in the dumps at the moment, and I'm a United fan, so I think I can say that. But I think Bruno's card will go up. He's an 88 as well. So not only is a good card to use, I mean, uh, people look at pace and, you know, their speed and acceleration way too much. Um, but I think even if you put like a hot for a cam, I mean, th this kind of stuff's ideal, right? Like it's not, you know, you can get him up to a very good, a very good stat on his pace, right? But this Bruno card's got a plus nine. So with like a hawk on him, uh, where's the hawk? I've just seen it. It's, it's moving now. Look at that. So a lot of people look at pace, right? And that determines people's prices. And it is mad, but it's always been a thing. I think it always will be. But I think Bruno would be quite expensive. Him, his normal card being an 88, I think will go up. I think Fodder has to go up at some point anyway. EA have been one to, with the SPCs, they've kind of been quite bad with. But as you said, we've got a, a lone base hero player pick. I do think they are just going to drop something out of the mud. Now everyone's got the game. I think they're just going to put out a scar and be like, bang, uh, you know, uh, a hero's SBC or something like that. So we're going to have a look at cheapest by rating. I do think, um, I keep doing that. I do think 88 at 15K are just ideal. Um, if they don't drop anything, let's say they don't drop any big SBC tonight, I think these cards will go down. But I think you can't go wrong with investing in these cards. 89s at 22k is a big one. When 88s are needed, you're probably looking at 28, 29k. That's what they normally go to. Uh, 89s, 90s, 
go well. I mean, Kane is 36k. Absolutely insane for a 90 rated card. And he has dropped massively. That I mean, he's down 2.3k. So I might pick a few of him up. Um, I think that might be ideal. Because when these cards are needed for a big SPC when it comes out, you will see this card hit 60, 70k quite easily. So maybe he's a good pickup at 36k. Maybe try and snipe one for a little bit less. Um, and I think EA tried last year, didn't they, to make... Um, players at the correct price of what they're worth. So, like, if, you know, Harry Kane could be sitting at 28k, he's 28k because that's what he's valued, not what his rating's valued, if that's what I mean, because he's a 90 rated. Most of the year, he'll probably be at 50, 45, 50k, but he's actually not worth that, and he's he's just fodder. I think EA tried and stop that, but you just can't, right? If you're going to bring out SPCs, you just can't because the demand's there. People need to buy that card. But the rating up, it's always going to be a thing, I think. Um, they did try it last year, didn't they, with you need in 286s or, or stuff like that. But it just pushed 86s up more. And so I think they'll just keep it as they have been. And I think fodder will just rise up more and more. Uh, Foot for athlete. So I think Sack is going to be a good one. I did not the pool. Maybe not. Gramerez, I think, is leaked to be an SBC, I believe. Or an objective, I think it'd probably be an SPC. Luis Diaz is going to be a very expensive one as well. But the cards that I do like have gone popular. Um, I think let's go and have a look at Benucci's price. I mean, this card probably isn't going to go up. I mean, he may, but I can't imagine. Um, I look at this card, he may have gone up a tad. If you're looking at cards really that people are using, like Oshimen. I mean, this card will probably go up. It's probably up 50. It's down, isn't he? He is down. Maybe a bit of panic selling going on. I don't really know. But for me, what I would definitely be doing is looking at players like Saka if you can get them for a cheap price. It's 5.7 on the market. So I don't think there's actually... I mean, there's not too much on the market. I mean, in the evening, we're looking at like 6 mil. But that was before the game actually got released to everyone. So... For me, I do like the looks of Harry Kane. Again, if they don't bring anything, at it, it's a risk if you buy them now because you don't want them to bring an SBC out tonight, which, and a little bit, yeah, you don't want them to bring an SB, SBC out tonight because if they don't, Harry Kane's, Harry Kane's price will come down a little bit from 36. But also, the likes of some of these cards will most likely be packed. Um, it will bring coins onto the market that we have you know, we always see time and time again, and it could push these kind of cards up, the likes of Haz, uh, Rashford. Uh, if we go and have, if we just put 100K in like that, and go and have a look at some cards, right? You'll probably see the likes of Crespo's going up, mid of Um You'll probably see that where more coins are coming on. Dembele could get a push up in price. He might come down initially for the first hour or so, but going into the weekend leading into Monday, you'll probably see an increase then. As we get closer as well, the foot champs. I'm not sure foot champs is actually a thing as well at the moment. I mean, if we can play it. Um, when does, where is foot? Where are the champions? When can we play? Can we play us now? Like if we had the points? I'm, if, I'm, not, I'm not actually sure. Um, but yeah, maybe give it a week when everyone can get the points to actually go and grind this and get champs done. You'll probably start seeing, um, my thingy's gone now. Okay. You'll probably start seeing airs go up. So like, for instance, Kyle Walker, I think I bought him for 111. I saw him for 140. Uh, and that's a card that everyone goes to at the start of the year. Uh, Premier League, probably the quickest in the Premier League at the moment. And I think he's like about 111 now, 110. So he's coming down actually a tad. This card will probably rise. Um, I can imagine it. I can imagine it. With the, with the coins coming in, I think the card could hit 130. Uh, with just the demand that he's going to have, right? Because people want to upgrade their teams. They want to get the best team they can for champs. So I think cards like that will be uh, initially good. I think Bruno, uh, I did mention him earlier. Bruno Fernandez, was he 22 or something? 24. I think this will be a good card to buy. I think even if you bought him and he didn't, and he didn't go up, I think after a week or so, I think he will anyway. 
just because it's going to be needed in SPCs. And if he's out of packs, for instance, and 88s are needed, and people start picking up his cheapest, well, you can't pack him. So he will be getting used, uh, and he will be going up. We pick one up for 23, why not? I might play with him uh, and see what I can gain. Uh, well, I can, I suppose. See if I can pick any cheap ones up. That's for the cards I'll be looking into, lads. Just stuff like that. He, I mean, what I would normally do as well is to get a good, get a good um, idea on a card. Is see what people are interested in. So, um, for me, I would go on the popular page and I would just go across and have a look and see. I mean, obviously these cards ain't out, but see who is popular, right? So you got Laurenti. Laurenti's down, I believe. He's down three k. But also links as well, right? So links are like Saka, so English players or Arsenal players, they might get a good link to him. So um, Rashford would be good, I suppose, to link up with his new Saka card. You've got Diaby's at 56k. He's come down a tad. So I think cards are actually starting to come down. This card's down a tad. I think he was yeah close to 40k. He was 48k at one point. But don't forget, we're going to start seeing a balance now. When people start playing the game, they start getting their coins, you'll start seeing players rise a little bit more. Um, I think Nkuku's down as well. I think a lot of people are down. If you go and have a look at the hour, hourly rise as in today, I think it started off it started off and it is dipped down a lot now. That's weird considering there's not that much supply. Maybe people are opening packs trying to get some coins. Uh, I would probably save that. But yeah, I think going into the weekend, I think we will see a rise in the market 100%, especially on these meta cards. I think... I mean, even even Var um, Varane's down. I mean, 99k last night. Uh, he is now 92, and he's now 91. You could have probably expect that card to go up 100%. What is he with a shadow? He's still naughty, isn't he? Still naughty. But yeah, that is it from me, lads. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you out in some way. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.